but good morning guys I am gonna do just a get ready with me but like a completely let's try and go for really really natural hardly any makeup like no makeup makeup look I guess is what we're gonna be going for today and I'm just gonna point out my eyebrows right now you guys <laughs> I am trying to let them grow in and they are looking bushy. I like I'm trying to fill them in and like gel them down and they're just they're getting fluffy on me and I can't decide if I like it but I'm letting like all of this right here grow back in and so like they're they're getting bushy but anyways eyebrows always look interesting too when you don't have makeup on right like when you don't have mascara on you don't have foundation on it's just like brows so anyways my my face tanner is like wearing off we're just up like today's one of those days where I just need to get ready to feel somewhat human so we're we're gonna get ready we're gonna do some makeup um and I'm gonna go I'm gonna try and go for like a really natural that true no makeup makeup look that hopefully is like a five minute face. So if you are someone who you're like, I need a five minute face, I need a 10 minute face, that's what we're gonna try and make this tutorial. It's gonna obviously be longer because I sit here and I talk and I explain things, but if you are someone who you're like, I need to be able to do my makeup like in the parking lot or right after I drop the kids off and I need to like sit in the car before I go grocery shopping like this will be kind of that makeup look for you guys because as you know same makeup you can do in the car because your whole makeup's in this one palette so if y'all are new around here I use saint makeup it's a cream it's a cream based foundation I love it it's your entire makeup routine all in one single palette there's like a bunch of different sizes that you can pick from to suit whatever budget or makeup obsession you have and so um, I also am an artist for the company so if you're like I want to try this makeup but you don't know what shades you are because the shades can also look different on the website versus how they look in the tin versus how they look on your skin and so that's a beauty hi Leanne that's the beauty of having me as your personal artist. I take the guesswork out for you. I've been an artist going on six years now. And so I know, I feel pretty confident. I mean, I am human, but I feel pretty confident that I know what shades are gonna look like, you know, versus in the tin versus on your skin. So if you're like, I don't even know where to start, I will actually put my info right here in the comments. You can text uh, the keyword match to nine seven oh four seven eight i always have to say it out loud seven eight four two text match to nine seven oh four seven eight seven eight four two i'm gonna pin this post and um let me pin it really fast or you can actually I should have the automation set up correctly that if you were to comment match on this live it will I think I set it up right to where an automated message will come to you with my form to fill out don't let that form stop you from the match process um, the form is just so I can have your info so I can email you back your detailed match um, and I don't hound you like it's totally free I don't hound you but it's so that you can upload a makeup free <laughs> hi Haley it's so that um, I can email or I can look at your face see what your skin tones are um and make my best match possible based on that photo that's what that form is for if you're like i am not about to send a makeup free selfie to this chick that's totally fine you can go on my website and there are pre-built collections that you can choose from based on pictures that they give you of skin tone examples not my favorite way to get matched just because it's not that you don't save much by getting a pre-built collection um, and it's just not as custom so I always recommend going custom but if you're like uncomfortable sending photos for whatever reason totally get that you there's also pre-built things that you can choose from um, and you can also exchange so if your shades you know just aren't quite right and then from there if you're like okay just I need a photo look at it we can also do that hi miss Kelly okay guys I'm gonna stop chatting we're gonna get ready um, this is my holy grail 
Primer. This is a beauty balm. This is actually from Pomifera, so the skincare line that I use in Flip and Love, it's amazing. They have a beauty balm, and this has SPF 30 in it. I still recommend actually having a specific sunscreen that you still put on your face for like maximum coverage but if you're like in a hurry need to get out the door this stuff is incredible and it actually works really beautifully under saint makeup so since we're going for like a more natural look i'm actually going to use this as kind of my color for today we might go in with a little bit of color corrector but i i'm just going to use this as like my overall foundation because I want it to be I want it to feel lighter today somewhat um I don't want this to take a ton of time and I actually do usually do my brows before I apply this because for whatever reason with eyebrow gel it gets messed up if I have this on there first but you guys look at the coverage that that gives it still is a pretty sheer coverage um, but again, if you're going for something more natural, this gives a really, really pretty coverage overall. Um, and it's got that SPF 30, like I said, in it. There's four different shades. I use shade three. So again, if you want me to help pick out a shade for you, totally message me if you use Saint Makeup and you're like, hey, I wear amber as my main shade. What, what number would I be for the, be the beauty balm, the BB cream? I can also tell you those things. So I wear amber as my main shade. And so I use shade three in the Beauty Balm as my my color. Um, there's four different categories. I would say there's not a huge difference between shades two and three. They're very, very similar. If you are like mango or darker, you surprisingly would actually be shade four. Um, in this beauty balm because and I know it'll look dark but just trust me mango or darker I would say you'd actually be shade four um, and, and it just helps even out skin tone that's really what it did as you guys saw it just kind of like evened it out overall so this is from Pomifera so you can head to my link in bio on my page if you want this is under Pomifera. It's not Saint, it's Pomifera Skincare. So BTW, makeup infused with skincare. Hello, it's amazing. So I love this as a primer. Then I'm going to grab my Saint makeup. I'm going to go in with my contour first and I'm using the detail brush. I will say I desperately need to clean these brushes. I've noticed my makeup just is kind of sitting funky and I think it's because my brushes are so dirty. So if that's happening to you where you're just like, this is not sitting that I get used to, try cleaning your brushes because it really does make a huge difference. Um, if you've done that and it's still not sitting right, make sure you're exfoliating your skin. Every, honestly, I exfoliate my skin about two to three times a week. That's something I've built up to. So if you haven't ever exfoliated, build up to that. Um, my main is amber so i use mango as a color corrector amber as my main and like sunlit or white peach as my brightener and i use shade three in that beauty balm um so if you've exfoliated and you're like dang it this still isn't sitting right then make sure you have the right colors okay so many times where i'm like i've cleaned my brushes you know i i what what the heck is going on i've cleaned my brushes and I'm like, oh, I haven't changed my shades in some time. I'll like recolor match myself to make sure my shades are right. And it makes a world of a difference. So if you know you've exfoliated, you've done the brushes, all the things, check to make sure that's correct. Um, Athens, I would actually do shade three. Um, for me personally, everybody's kind of different, but um, I, like I said, I wear amber and I'm wearing shade three right now amber is my main um okay so here's contour we're gonna go in right here i keep it i keep that contour as close to my hairline as possible and then i just kind of flick that into my hairline okay Wah! we'll get this out of the way here i've just got like hairs coming from all which look at this random hair right here <laughs> like where is that coming from <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna move to bronzer. So I use Bella bronzer. It is my favorite bronzer that Saint has. They're, they have four different ones, but Bella is just my, my ride or die. I would say if you are like candlelit, aura, white peach, lighter, um, I would try tan lines for your bronzer. Candle it, honestly, though, I feel like you could get away with Bella, actually, for your bronzer. Um, but Aura, White Peach, Linen, and Lighter, I would do tan lines. Otherwise, Bella's going to look, like, too warm on your skin, too red. It might pull really red. Um, but again, I wear Amber as my main shade, so Bella is... Bella's my girl. Okay, so there's bronzer. And I like to put it in this kind of C shape here. Now keep in mind, I, I haven't put on a mane at all. This is still just utilizing that beauty balm for kind of just my base, I guess, when I'm going for something. If I'm in a hurry, this is, this is what I do, okay? Yes, girl, Bella is so pretty. Bella was the only bronzer Saint had for years, and then they came out with some other ones, and I just, it's just tried and true. Like, it's its such a good one. So, now we're just gonna move on to blush, and since we're going for more of that natural look, how about we try, this is Ballerina. We're gonna use Ballerina. So this is a very, very, Guys, I just have flipping hairs <laughs> just all over. It's so annoying. Oh my gosh. I gave a little hair tip in my stories today, by the way. Go check it out. If you have like new growth coming in, I have an amazing hair tip for you in my stories today. So go check it out. So this is Ballerina. Very, very light. Like you almost can't even <laughs> really see it. But it is seriously one of my favorites if I'm going for something just pretty natural this is also super pretty on the lips but it just adds just a hint of a little something in there can you guys see that just a little hint of something on my cheeks again we're going for natural up in here okay and then to keep the natural train going saint has these amazing these are also kind of balms this one is a peach scent like it seriously smells like a basket of fresh peaches. You know how when sometimes you get things that are scented and it's like, this is peach scent. And you're like, this smells nothing like peaches. That is not this, like it legitimately smells like summer. It smells so good. But what I love about this is it is an illuminator. It's a version of an illuminator. And usually I wear this right here. This is Nova. Usually I use Nova as an illuminator. Um, but since we're going for natural, all this is gonna do is like sun kiss my skin so that my skin just looks like super healthy is kind of how I like to explain it. It just gives this really healthy glow to your skin without adding necessarily any shimmer. So can you guys see that? It's just helping like the light reflect off my skin. So it just, mm, it's so pretty and it's natural. So that's what we're going for is just natural. So the balm comes, there's the peach, but they also have just balm where it's like unscented. So if you're like, I don't want fragrance on my face, they have this where it's literally just the balm. There's absolutely no scent or anything to it. Um, Was your base of BB cream? Yes, yes, girlfriend. It was BB cream. It's this, it's from Pomifera. I have it linked in my bio. Pomifera skincare. It's not from Saint. Um, and I use, you guys can see I use shade three, but it's amazing. It has SPF 30 in it. If you guys can't find the link, just message me. Um, if you get a custom color match from me with Saint makeup, I also link this in your detailed match that I email you back. I let you know what BB cream shade I would recommend for your skin based on the Saint match that I give you. So just kind of know that too, that if you're looking for that, that's that's all linked in there, ready to go. <laughs> Please tell me about your eyebrows. Did you dye them or did you have, okay. You know what's funny? <laughs> At the beginning of this, I was like, you guys, my brows, they're looking so bushy. Um, so these, 
these are I'm letting it grow back in so you can see up close all these little hairs I'm letting them grow back in to see like what my natural brow even looks like so that's what these look like up close um, but I use just a um, brow lamination home kit so I laminate them at home and they are way overdue so they're like not doing anything for me right now because the lamination is worn off but I use a home lamination kit the kit that I get actually comes from the UK um, it's called sassy saints um, and it's awesome I love it I have I need to try one like off of Amazon because it does take a while to come in since it's coming from the UK so that's kind of a bummer but it works amazing um, okay next for eyeshadow we're just gonna go for like a really again just a natural trying to clean my brush off as best as I can oh wait you know what first we're gonna set this so I'm gonna spray my little sponge here with setting spray I love this setting spray it's also from Saint but it comes off strong like if when I just spray my face straight on with this it like it feels like I just jumped in a pool <laughs> so I've been really liking putting it on this perfector sponge this is also from saint duh because it's the best um i really really like it because it it takes off any excess makeup so if i like go too hard with the makeup it takes off any excess makeup really lightly so that it cleans it up overall so that i still get that just really pretty skin finish as you guys can see um and then it also sets it at the same time I had ran out of this stuff, can I just say, I had ran out of this, I did not have setting spray for like a good six months. I just, I just kept forgetting to order it and I finally got some more. You guys, my makeup is lasting for hours. Like I did not think I needed setting spray because I had just gone so long without it. And now that I'm using it again, I'm like, holy cow. My makeup lasts for hours. So if you've ever been curious about like, should I set it, should I not? I personally, now that I've gone so long without setting my makeup, I see the benefit of when you do use setting spray, <laughs> if that makes sense. Love the Saint one during the winter time because it is dewy. Like it really gives this dewy finish to your skin. Hi, hello from Jerseyville, Illinois. Hello from Colorado. And so I love that during the winter, right? Because our skin is so dry. It's like craving hydration. So this setting spray is really nice during the winter. Summertime, I actually really love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It, you let it, it feels like air going on your face, which is really nice. It's not heavy. Um, but in the summertime, you know, we're sweating, it's hot, we're already glistening because it's just, we got that summer glow going on. And so sometimes this one feels like too much during the summertime because it's summer and it's hot. So I do like the Charlotte one during the summer, but the Saint one in the wintertime is like magic. It's gold. So I usually set everything again with the sponge and then I move on to my eyes because I, I swear that that also helps my eyeshadow last a little bit longer. And I've noticed if I have mascara on, depending on what mascara I use, if I have mascara on and then I spray that all over my face, I get all those little mascara dots. Like I get raccoon eyes. So there's something with the setting spray that like the oils intermix or something and I, I get fallout and like transfer. So I'll set before I put my mascara on and it's it's golden it's money so anyways I'm just gonna use this one I think is called dream yes so this is dream love this eyeshadow and you'll see why because it's just very 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 natural um, this one comes from Saints advent calendar that they just launched um, at the beginning of November I believe it was but if you don't want to get the advent because it's not sold as a single eyeshadow yet, <laughs> I should say. Um, so if you're like, I don't want to have to buy the entire advent calendar, I would say Pup is another one of Saint's eyeshadows. Pup is very, very similar to 
dream. It's not the same. Sorry, I got an eye pookie. That's gross. It's not the same, but it, I would say it's a, it's a really good comparable eyeshadow if you want to achieve the same look. But that's all I'm going to... Wow, there's something in my eye. And it hurts. I cannot get it out. But anyways, I love both of them. They're just really pretty. See how it just gives like a very, very, very natural overall look. My two-year-old loves watching your videos. Hi, Felicity. Thanks for being on this live. That's amazing. Thanks, girls. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I'm going to go in with, I've really been loving this. This I have actually linked in my Amazon store. It's from L'Oreal. It's like 10 bucks. And what I love about it, well, you'll see. The results are awesome. And when you go to take it off, it just melts off. I mean, I use, I love my makeup remover, so that helps of what I remove it with. But compared to some other mascaras, I've used some mascaras where when I go to take it off at night, I feel like it's just ripping my eyelashes right out because the mascara just won't come off. But this stuff actually disintegrates really well and it just, it melts right off when you use makeup remover. Um, but it also stays on all day. Like it really does not flake off um, and I, I don't get any transfer throughout the day at all. So to me, I'm like, it's a 10 out of 10. And for the price, you can't, you can't beat it. Did you guys know? I always get this actually confused. Lancome? No, I think L'Oreal owns Lancome. Or maybe it's Lancome owns L'Oreal. It's like one of the two. But basically... You're basically getting like high-end mascara when you buy L'Oreal for like a way cheaper price. So if you guys didn't know that, go on Amazon and just try literally any L'Oreal mascara because they're all amazing. <laughs> I really love the telescopic one. Oh, I am missing comments. I'm so sorry, you guys. What do you recommend for hair that is falling out? Thinking and is just dull. I used to have lots of thick. Oh, girlfriend, I am on a hair journey right along with you. I'm trying out a bunch of different things right now. Um, and so the best way to recommend stuff is to have to go through it yourself, right? So currently for, I guess, to treat hair loss, I'm still trying to figure all that out, to be honest. First, it's getting to the root of why it's falling out. So that's kind of the part I'm at in my journey of figuring out why the heck my hair is falling out. Um, but currently, I'm just using this shampoo called Active or Active. Um, and I, I like it so far. I do feel like um, maybe it's helping with the shedding a little bit I've only used it like three times but the one thing I don't like about it actually is it's making my hair super staticky and I hate staticky hair so that's kind of a bummer <laughs> that's coming along with that um, but I love the Kevin oops I love the Kevin Murphy um, their volume shampoo is great sometimes you have to be careful with volume or like full, um, what am I trying to say, shampoos and conditioners that say, like, it'll make your hair look fuller, you have to be careful with those, because if they're full of, I think it's dimethicone, that might be it, um, those are, like, fillers that you don't want in your hair, and I, trying to remember, I don't think that one is in the Kevin Murphy one, but I haven't looked on the active one, if it's in there, so just throwing that out there sometimes you just it's so hard to know you guys it's so hard to know and i i wish i had better recommendations right now but i'm i'm kind of like right at the beginning of trying to figure out <laughs> how to help my hair loss as well so i'm sorry i wish i had a better explanation um you tried the bambi mascara because of you and it's your favorite yay crystal I love it. See, it's such a good one and it's cheap. 
<laughs> I anything L'Oreal the telescopic one has been my ride or die for years it's such a good mascara it's more of a lengthening than thickening I would say this is more of a thickening one but as you can see I mean I use an eyelash serum so that's a bonus but it it also gives really good length like it it really does give like this Bambi eye since we're going for more natural I'm gonna skip doing the bottom so that I'm not like this with my eyelashes um, but that is kind of it and then for lips I'm finishing it off with I love this lip oil this is um, color fawn it's so pretty it's got pomifera oil in it so this is also from the same skincare that I use they have this lip oil they have like a couple different ones that are tinted just slightly I like fawn because I like to keep it just nice and natural for today and pretty much any day but I love layering this on top of if I do lipstick or anything like that I always layer this on top of it to give it just a you know nice little lip glossy kind of look but it's not sticky that's what I like about this it's not sticky you know how sometimes with lip glosses it's like windy and your hairs stick into your lips and all the things I do not get that from this because it's an oil so this is a good one but that is that's kind of it for this you guys is we're just we're keeping it I'm doing a middle part today which I like never do but we're keeping it fairly natural so literally I know this has been a long live but this would seriously take me five maybe eight minutes to do in the morning it's so quick you can do it in the car I love it so hopefully you know it's just a different kind of look if you're wanting something light again I did not put any foundation on we just have contour bronzer a little bit of blush um, this balm to help my skin just look really fresh and clean not shimmery um, keeping the eyeshadow very simple it's just kind of an overall simple look so okay I'm missing question I take Omegas and I'm using Redken Bonding Acidic Shampoo and Conditioner a couple times a week. Ooh, that's good to know. I do need to get on some sort of vitamin. I do know that. Update on the Mary Ruth's peach stuff that I was talking about in my stories. The taste, I cannot do the taste. So it honestly might be getting returned. <laughs> We're going to have to find something else. The bottle said to put it in like smoothies or like make it like a topper on yogurt or something like that but let's be honest I'm not gonna do that <laughs> so like am I gonna take the time to make myself a smoothie every day just to take 15 milliliters of this thing probably not I need easy I need like something I can just swallow you know so that was a little side note on that um, autoimmune migraines pots postural oh goodness is that all the things that you're saying could be causing hair loss? Is that what you're saying? Um, oh, bariatric. Yep, lost a ton of hair. I have heard that that can happen, actually, from that surgery. You're, like, the third person to tell me that, actually. Um, and I, have, I actually do have that Redken shampoo in my shower right now. Divi. Divi is great. The maker had hair loss too. Divi. I've never heard of that. Okay, I'm going to have to remember that and look that up. Thank you guys for all these recommendations. Yes, girl, I do have a Betty's. This is a Betty's. Isn't it cute? I am obsessed with Betty's. In fact, I, I want to reach out to them to say like, hey, can I get a code for followers? But I always get nervous doing those types of things. Um, but I love them. I actually got the minky one. I have two of them. I have a brown one, which is normally on here, and that's just the regular, like, sheets. This one is the minky, and it's heaven. Like, I look forward to just slipping into bed, because the minky is so soft. It's so soft. So, anyways, oh my gosh, you guys are obsessed with Betty's, too. It, they're amazing. My kids all have one and I only buy them on Black Friday because that's the best deal. And so um, we splurged last year and got the kids 
um, their own Bettys and they love them. I love them because it makes it so easy for them to make their bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know you love big hair, but your hair looks great today too. Oh, thank you, Monique. Hi, Monique. Thank you so much. It's so flat. It's so flat, but it's kind of fun for a change, right? <laughs> you told your husband that you need one. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, do you want me to show you guys Minky? Let me unzip it really fast. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial. This is Minky. Can you see this? It is so soft. So this is, it's Minky on the top, and then it's like regular sheets. I don't know if you guys can see this. See that? It's Minky on top, and then it's the regular sheets on the bottom. It's like, I'm obsessed, so here's what it looks like. And I put my little Christmas pillows on there, but it's the best they are seriously the best so you know find someone who has a code <laughs> so that you can save because it really does make a difference maybe one of these days i'll be cool enough to have a code and you guys can save some but for now i don't i just really really love them <laughs> oh my gosh it is like a baby blanket it legit is like a baby blanket it's so soft and thick so this one i think is great and then you just like shove it back in there and then you zip it up and, and like boom, your bed's made and it looks awesome. It's just nice and tidy, you know, down here. I can't say enough good things about it, but the Minky, 100% worth it in the winter. I would say this would be extremely hot in the summer unless you have a really good AC. This is gonna be really hot in the summer, so switching back to the sheets ones for summer, but for winter, oh, it's so good. They're amazing. Okay, that's it, you guys. Back to the makeup side. If you guys are wanting a color match, it's totally, totally free. I don't charge for it. I also don't hound you. It's just so that I can get eyes on your beautiful skin so that I can say, hey, these are the shades that I think would work best with your skin tones. I also give you a recommendation on that beauty balm. So if you're wanting a beauty balm, I will give a recommendation for what shade would work for that as well within your match. So I, I send you a detailed match back via email. I also text you to let you know it's been delivered to your email. Um, and I just, I give you like a whole little guide on everything specific to you, your skin tone. So if that's something you're interested in, I've got in the pinned post here, you can text match to 970-478-7842. Or if I set up the automation correctly, if you actually comment match on this live, you should get an automated message with my form linked in there so that you can get started on the match process, okay? Um, if the match process isn't something you even wanna go through, there are pre-built collections on my website. You go to the collections tab and you can click on the different collections and it'll give you pictures of skin tones and you kind of just say like, mm, my skin tone looks like hers. It'll say this is the collection we would recommend for you not my favorite way to go just because custom is always going to be best that way you ensure you're getting like the colors that are specifically for your skin tones skin is not the same color like when you really break down your skin we've got redder cheeks we've got you know it's usually a darker color here under eyes all those things and so i always recommend like two to three shades for people depending on what's going on with their skin you're gonna need different shades for different points of your face um, but for today's look as you saw just using a BB cream to kind of even out your skin overall if you guys are just hopping on I don't have like a foundation on I just have my BB cream on as like just an overall like base and then I went in with contour bronzer and some blush that's all we have going on today for just a really basic look so get those matches sent in um, it usually takes me about 24 hours sometimes 48 hours but you should have them back usually the next day um, in your email and then we can just go from there okay guys all right have a wonderful rest of your day 
Thank you guys for being on. This was so fun. I love when I get to just talk with you guys back and forth. Hi, beautiful. Thanks for hopping on. This will be available as a replay too if you want to see the beginning of how we kind of created this look. It'll be available as a replay. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.